making plans for night you This boy is electric Hi everyone, welcome back for another energy related video. Today I want to talk to you about a product, a uh, portable storage battery. Well, sort of portable battery. It's an Afri P310. Um, I have tested an Afri uh, portable battery before. It was the P210. It was a 2.4 kilowatt output. It was really nicely designed. It was easy to handle, move around. Uh, the output power, 2.4 kilowatts, was excellent. Two kilowatt of uh, storage, very, very practical battery. I absolutely love the ergonomics of it. I love the look of it. And uh, the screen especially was one of the best interfaces and the best screens of any portable battery I've tested. So uh, I thought my testing of uh, portable batteries was over, but then Afri said, do you want to test our new P310, the bigger one? Well, since I loved the uh, smaller one, the P210, I thought, why not? Why not test the larger one and see how we get on? There's one thing especially that stood out to me with this battery and it's why I really wanted to test it and present this video. It's how it can be used as a home storage battery, not just a portable storage battery. I think I've talked in previous videos about portable batteries being extremely practical. You know, they're like a tool, you buy it to do a job, but then you've got that tool and you can use it for other things. It becomes practical. It might not justify for that one single job, but when you've got it, it's very, very practical, very usable. Portable batteries are like that. They're great as a UPS. They're great if you need power at the end of the garden. They're great if you want to put power in the shed, take it in your car caravan in your uh, camper van you know wherever you want to take it in the car you know why have vehicle to load in a car when you can have a portable battery that charges up on the 12 volt and then can discharge plus you can move it it's not fixed with the car portable batteries really are practical and they really are a good tool to have in your arsenal of power i mean who doesn't need or want power and sometimes you have to get the extension lead out and it's really awkward or it doesn't quite reach there's all those sort of things. Or, you know, what about if you need to run a power cord and it needs to go across a pavement? Those sort of things. You don't need the wires. Having the portable battery adds some flexibility. So all of those things are great. But then what if it was powerful enough? What if it had enough energy to actually provide a meaningful amount of power to power your home? Because then there are a lot of people out there that are in leasehold properties or rented properties or in apartments that can't have solar and a home storage battery because of issues cracker a lot of people can't have solar and home storage batteries because they're leasehold they're renting they're in apartments it's just not practical to get them installed or they know they're going to be moving in a few uh, months or years so you know why invest in those things when you're going to move and you can invest in the fixed installation elsewhere well this is where portable battery solutions come in um, if i wanted to replicate uh, what i've got here with a home storage battery and use portable ones instead then it is possible you know i could have a portable battery a smaller one handling my internet hubs, so that's the My Energy Hub, the Home Assistant Hub, my internet router, all of that stuff is on one plug. I could use a little battery, portable battery, which would become a UPS. I could charge it up overnight on cheap rate electricity and then discharge it during the day. So effectively I'm running on just cheap rate energy uh, for that entire plug. Then I could install another one. I could install a smaller one um, over on the kitchen and I could have the fridge running from it. And again, I could back up the fridge if we have a power cut. So the fridge and freezer is all protected. But I've got a couple of devices over there uh, plugged in next to the fridge. So I could power those devices from a portable battery again. But this battery, the P310, is so big as in its capacity and its output capability that I realized it could power my entire kitchen and this is where i think portable batteries become you know that merging point over onto home storage batteries because the practicality of them the fact that you can move it the fact that you can use it for different applications is a huge benefit more so than a fixed home storage battery but then it's a tangible real amount that you can use it for 3.6 kilowatts of output from this P310. So this new battery that I'm, I've got here, that's uh, actually more like a coffee table size for me at the moment. 3.6 kilowatts of output. That's 
Well, my washing machine's 1.8 kilowatt, so it covers that fine. My fridge is only 100 to 200 watts, the fridge freezer, but it does peak with the compressor up to about 1.8 kilowatts. So it covers that as well. My hob, uh, a single ring on the hub is 1.2, 1.1 kilowatts at its max, depending on what um, pan I've got on it. It's an induction hob. So I've got two ring hobs. Uh, in this kitchen, we have two. So we've got one over here and one over the other side of the kitchen. So we don't have the normal traditional square hob with four rings. We've got two separated. So two rings running, 2.2, 2.4 kilowatts. Covers that as well. The 3.6 more than covers that. So the air fryer is two kilowatts. The microwave's 1.5 kilowatts. The toaster's 1.5 kilowatts. The main oven is 2.4 kilowatts. And that actually goes on and off between 1200 and 2400 watts. So every device in the kitchen could be powered by this battery. So yes, I'd have to do some wiring with extension leads and those sort of things to get everything hooked up. But I was thinking uh, more for my apartment that I had before I came here. I had an apartment in a place called Helsden in Norwich and it was an open plan lounge, diner, kitchen environment with a single run of workspace units and all of the uh, devices and all of the washing machine, cooker, everything was all on that one side, that one wall. Would have been perfect for this device. It could have run the entire kitchen very, very easily. So capacity wise, what about that? Well, this is 3.84, I think, kilowatt hours uh, of storage, which I tested and got 3.65 kilowatt hours of capacity out of the battery. 3.65 kilowatt hours, that is a real tangible amount. If I look at the last month for this kitchen, the entire kitchen, every device in it, I think the average for the month, the average day is less than the 3.65 kilowatt hours. I'll put the numbers on here on um, what the actual average was, what the peak and the minimum was, for example. So it doesn't have to cover every bit of power for every single day, but if it's covering most of it, you start to get the idea that these portable batteries can be used to supplement home uh, storage systems or to supplement systems where you only have solar and you haven't got a battery or for places where you just don't want to have a fixed install. They really are a tangible option. OK, time for a real world test. Let's plug in a heater that I have. Turn the AC control on. Okay, that's my heater. I use that in this kitchen quite often. Okay, it's running at 1911 watts. The battery's full. We've got a couple of hours it can run on this for. So yeah, two hours at nearly two kilowatts. But let's plug something else in at the same time. I want to make myself a cup of coffee. Let's plug in the induction hob from our kitchen. Okay, that's on. So there's my coffee pot. Power on. Turn it on. Turn it up. And there we go, we've got increased power. So I'm turning it up now, we've got the induction hob on number six, number seven, number eight, full power. We're pulling 3.1 kilowatts out of this battery. Good example of what it's like uh, to power things in the kitchen. So if I wanted to use less power, I could turn the fan heater down. Hence, I'm using less power. I could turn the hob down from nine down to seven. Yep, and the power is going down. Or I can run at full power. I'll turn the fan up to high power. Yep, three kilowatts. 
Really am impressed with this battery on its power capabilities. It's just so, so practical. I could really imagine using this uh, as a main storage battery around the house. And my favorite feature of this battery is this, just a little switch and input regulator. So it's changing the amount that you are charging the battery out on the uh, AC grid input. So 800 watts, 1200, 1600, 2200. The ability to change it so it quickly charges overnight on full power, 2200, or, in or if during the day I'm on solar, I want to change it down to just 400 watts and let it tick over and charge slowly. This is just AC charging though, not DC charging from solar, but a very, very handy feature. I've only ever seen it before with um, other batteries using apps to control the uh, amount you're gonna charge it. So just a physical input regulator switch, very, very useful. A nice reassuring click to the switch as well. So if you've got a practical need of a caravan, a camper van, a, a shed outside, a man cave room, um, any sort of extra one-off need where you need the extra power away from the grid, then all of the extra uses of this battery are almost coming for free. So this is where I think it's really good. There are a lot of people out there with batteries and uh, solar panels that have got the all-in-one systems, but they've judged it just slightly wrong and they're a few kilowatt hours off being able to be completely um, off peak rate and using cheap rate energy. So they're tempted to get a second battery, but a second whole battery, it's huge. If you have one of these, a portable battery to supplement the system, then you know, three and a half kilowatt hours extra and you haven't got to have an install. You haven't got to have any uh, discussion with the grid about whether you are allowed to have the battery. It's just a simple buy it, plug it in and use it. So it's a very practical way of expanding your home usage, I think. So I think this is a great crossover battery because it has the extra practical need. Yes, any portable battery could be used at home to reduce your energy usage, but it's not a tangible amount. This battery um, is bigger than one of the US 3000 Pylon Tech batteries that I originally installed in my home battery system here. And it actually costs at the moment, uh, this battery was 2000 and something pounds RRP. It's on sale at the moment for I think 1250 in some places online. So at 1250 pounds ish, that's less than I paid for the Pylon Tech fixed home install batteries on its own. And it's just a battery. This A3 system comes with the charger, the USB sockets, a lie, a carrying case, a charger, the inverter. It comes with everything as an all-in-one solution that works. Whereas what I was comparing it to, just a battery, was just a battery. So I think this is now very good value. Batteries are coming down in price and these portable ones as well. The fact that it has so many practical uses beyond just you being used in the house and it compares price-wise to what I've paid for batteries in the past, it is a very, very flexible and great battery system. What do you think? What would you use it for? Um, a 45 kilogram battery, so it's a big system uh, with 3.6 kilowatts of output and 3.65 kilowatt hours of battery storage. What would you use it for? There's just so many users. I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think you would use this for. Anyway, uh, Afri P310. If you haven't heard of the brand or these products, take a look online at them. I'll put a link in the description. Um, there's probably a discount code that Afri are gonna give me at the moment, and there is a sale on. I, I honestly think these batteries are a very practical way of um, offloading some of the power usage in your home. Um, I would be very tempted to either buy two P210s, so that's two of the 2.4 kilowatt output and two kilowatt hour batteries, two of them is under 1300 pounds, under just over 1300 pounds, but two of them would be practical for the locating them elsewhere and you get the four kilowatt hours and 4.8 kilowatts of combined output, whereas this is in one place for 3.6. So it's, you know, it depends on your individual need, doesn't it? It depends whether you want one big source of energy and power output or whether splitting it into two would be good. But at the moment with the sale on, I could get two P210s or one P310 and uh, use it. So I, 
Personally for me, I think I'll go with the two two tens, not the single big one, but this is the most impressive battery that I've tested so far. Hence, I said yes, hence I said I would share it with you because I think it's a great product and worthwhile sharing and opening up the discussion of what would you use it for? Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you don't mind me uh, presenting some products that I think are useful when the opportunity comes along. Uh, I am impressed with A3 and hence that's why I'm happy to share. Take care, see you again soon for more energy related videos. Bye for now.